I'm Bella Watson, and today you are going to learn about John Dalton, a British scientist who did work in chemistry and meteorology. He has made a huge impact in the science world with many contributions, but today we are going to focus on Dalton's atomic theory. All matter is composed of atoms, atoms as defined by indivisible and indestructible. All matter is composed of atoms, and this is what Dalton thought an atom looked like. But when he said atoms are divisible, he was wrong because now we know that atoms are made up of protons, neutrons, and electrons. Dalton was proved wrong once again because atoms can actually be destroyed through a process called the nuclear reaction, where the atom is destroyed, creating energy in two new elements. All atoms of an element are identical. This is wrong because we know of isotopes, atoms of the same element that have the same number of protons with different numbers of neutrons leading to different masses. Atoms combine to form compounds in simple whole number ratios. This is correct because you cannot have half of an atom in a compound, allowing for only whole number ratios. The chemical reaction results in the rearrangements of atoms in the reactant and product compounds. All atoms in a reaction will stay in the reaction due to the conservation of mass, making it correct. Atoms of different elements will vary in size and mass. Some elements do not have the same number of protons or neutrons, but coincidentally, they will have the same sum for their masses. Thank you for watching.